With the Mac with Ventura, you actually can use the new feature called Station Manager. If you are kind of like a person who uses a lot of applications at the time, this is going to be very useful features for you. Here I'm using iMac with Mac with Ventura. Now to enable the stage manager, you can simply click on this logo right here and then you will see this option will be automatically added to your notification panel. Now while you're just trying to open up or turning on the stage manager, if you don't find these features right here, that could mean you were not yet up to date with the macOS Ventura or even if you are up to date with macOS Ventura, you can simply restart your Mac to solve the problem while you're just trying to open up or turning on the stage manager, you're going to get a prompt. Now click on turn on the stage manager or before you turn it on, you can even read it out to understand all about it. Okay, so you can click on turn on the stage manager. Now you have enabled that features on your Mac. Now let's open up a, let's say a couple of applications on your Mac. Before you enable the stage manager features on your iMac, now if you wanted to use a multiple application on your iMac and when you wanted to minimize this application, what happened? All this application goes to your dock. Now let's see what happens when we enable the stage manager features on our iMac. So let me just open up this application again and let me click on this icon right there and let me click on the stage manager from here. Now if I click on here then what's going to happen here your current application is going to be on the board and the other application is going to be minimized but it's going to stay right here onto the stage manager section. Now if you want to switch to this application you can click here to switch between one application to another. Well, now, if you want to use two applications at the very same time, then all you need to do, you need to simply click and hold the application that you want to use and simply drag it to anywhere you actually want. At the very same time, if you want to make your desktop look very clean and spotless, then you can simply click any of those blank space and you will see all this application will be minimized right onto the stage manager. In the same way, you can add as many as applications that you actually want to use on your iMac and every application will go to your stage manager. Well, now if you these features on your iMac here, it will make your iMac clean and it will make you more organized when you work with multiple applications at the same time. Now that's how you guys can literally use that stage manager features on your iMac with macOS Ventura. Now for some reason, if you want to turn these features off, you can click right here and you can simply click on stage manager. Now then what's going to happen, all this application will get back on your desktop just like that again. Now once you enable the stage manager on your iMac there, you can customize it. You can click on your Apple logo, you can click on system settings. And after that, you can simply go ahead and click on the desktop and dock. And if you come over there, you'll see this option called stage manager. You can customize it a bit further by clicking customize and you will see this option first called recent application. If you turn it off, you'll see that application will go from here. It will be hidden, but every time you just drag your mouse right here, it will come back on your screen. At the very same time, if you want to turn off those, you know, application or other things or other items on your desktop, you can simply disable it. You will see now there is nothing available or nothing is visible on your desktop. At the very same time, if you click here, it says show windows from an application. You can choose either all at once or you can choose one at once. So I'll just go ahead and click all at once. I'll click on done here. Now that's how I customize the stage manager features on my iMac. Now this is how you can also customize it on your iMac too. And that's how you guys can literally use the M stage manager features on your iMac. And that's how you can enable or disable it at the very same time. Hope you found this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.